Hey, Mike, there's another prospect here to see you, but he's late and his tie's too fat. Should I let him in? You tell her to say all that garbage? He didn't need to, Johnny Fat Tie. Yeah, I guess I have time for one more meeting. Mike, I need to Although talk I'm to you. I'm sorry, sir, you've missed the pastries. I can call you some up. Listen to me. I came down here because I wanted to tell you, if you want to run through this wall, I'm ready to run through it with you. Good. But I can't. What? What I can do is tell you I'm ready to run through another one. What the hell are you talking about? We have a conflict. Bullshit. Who is it? It's not bullshit. Then who is it? You know I can't tell you that. No, what I know is that it's very convenient that you suddenly have a conflict the day after you tell me that my idea isn't good enough. I don't find it convenient at all, but you put us in review, and now I have to go with the other client. I put you in review because you refuse to get on board. And I just told you I want to run through another wall with you, and we still can if you drop this. And why should I be the one to drop it? Because they're not going to, and I have to stick with them, and I'm telling you, you're going to lose. Well, because you're on the other side? Because their plan is better. Says the professional bullshitter who has a brand new vested interest in me bowing out. I'm going to let that go, but if you don't let this go, I can't represent you on anything until it's over. Then I guess we're done here. You cook. You come home to this in your kitchen, and that's what you're going to ask me. Well, I was going to ask you how the hell you got into my apartment, but I knew you weren't going to tell me. Do you remember when you told me I should think about taking some morning meetings? I can't say that it's never crossed my mind, but you really think it's a good idea? Jeff Malone. Well, he's not my type. You gotta be kidding me. Why didn't you tell me yesterday? Because I wasn't gonna hire him yesterday, so it was none of your business. But today I might. So now it is. And you wanna know how I feel about it? You're my partner. Well, I already told you how I feel about hiring him. This doesn't change that. Good to know. Seems like something else is on your mind. He doesn't just wanna work together. He wants us to keep seeing each other. And you don't wanna risk the one to have the other. No, I don't. I've been there. I know. Then you need to figure out which is more important. I guess I do. So you two have, um... Yes. So he's seen you naked? That's usually how these things work. Are you picturing me naked right now? Maybe. Yes. Go wash your hands. And don't spend too much time in that bathroom. Let me get this straight. You come to me with a killer idea and all of a sudden you don't want to do it anymore because you lost your BFF? I don't want to do it because it's not a killer idea anymore. Why the hell not? Because Harvey has a conflict, which means somebody already has a dog in the fight. Who gives a shit? I do, because whoever it is is already buying shares. You didn't come in here to give up. You came in here to get my money. Damn right I did. I give you my money, now I have downside. Jonathan, look, you said you wanted a home run. You got to pull out your checkbook, because I can't compete without it. You could yesterday. Now it's today. And you're still going in there, another banker in a suit, hoping he'll trust you based on nothing. I've got more than nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Trust me. I did my homework. Batter up.